Uh, we're trying to make our own math equation today. We're trying to get that done. We've been trying to do it for a while. Um, I think today's the day. You know how pi equals 3.141 numbers reoccurring? Our equation aims to equal 3.131 numbers reoccurring. Um, it's going to revolutionise the way people go about doing maths easily. It doesn't have a function as yet, um, but I think we need a symbol for, to represent that useless decimal number. Have you ever opened up a math book and thought, fuck you Pythagoras, it's because of you, we have to do an extra chapter of maths. Well, we want to be that guy. This is, this is Steve, um, he's like a human calculator. Have a look. 2 multiplied by 9 equals... See, if you had a screen, that would have been evaluated. We've actually been trying to make a new math symbol for a while now. Um, this one is the sword, and if you have two equations, you just press the sword key and you find out which one would win in a fight. This one started out uh, how to find the sex of each number, but it doesn't really work that well on calculators. Our best one was probably one, a symbol, that sees how many times one number goes into another number. Uh, if it wasn't already a symbol, we would be pretty famous by now. We need to take it to the Bureau of Mathematics and get into the everyday maths. The Bureau of Mathematics is like the Vatican of maths. They haven't let any new equations since the New Testament, and I'm pretty sure they're against condoms as well. This is our new math equation. Um, it's called the Quainter. It sh if we're lucky, it should be in all math books by the end of the year. This is as big as inventing a cure for cancer. Pro probably bigger, actually. Yep. Um, and the good thing is, we should get royalties every time this is used. Imagine earning five cents every time the addition sign is used. That's, what, that's how rich we're going to be, easily. Now Sophie, we know you haven't done much in the project yet, but the reason we wanted you on board was so you could, you know, sleep with the head of the Bureau of Mathematics so we could get in. Um, Adrian here has been sleeping with his wife, so he, sh you know, she should be pretty easy to get into because he'll feel pretty betrayed at the moment. So that should be easy for you. Um, what? I'm not sleeping with him. I'm beginning to question your commitment to this group. I mean, uh, Steve here came up with the name, I came up with the idea, Adrian came up with the picture, and uh, you won't even have sex with a 90-year-old man for us. Well, I am on. not having sex with him. Alright, Steve, how do you feel about wearing a wig? Plan B. Um, we've hit a bit of a snag. Um, the Bureau of Mathematics haven't put in our equation, so it's a bit disappointing, but hope is not lost. <laughs> if these guys can um, research it, they're trying to research it at the moment to see if I can win some kind of Nobel math prize, but uh, it doesn't look good from here. The Bureau didn't, they didn't bring in the Quainter, unfortunately. They didn't want it as, a, as, as one of their equations. They thought it was stupid. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to use it in my maths test anyway. Um, and I still think it has a pretty good chance of taking off.